Okay, y'all. So I am going to be um, suing Warner. I have to find... Well, yeah, I'm going to be suing Warner. And let me tell y'all why. So they fired me today, May 26th, over a broken glad hand that broke... What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. I'm pretty good. Listen, man, you know I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to eat regardless. That don't mean nothing. But, y'all, I've been down in D.C. 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 is definitely ready for us, man. D.C. is it. Fired from Warner Trucking. In this clip right here, we're going to look at today. Drivers is a young driver that just got fired from Warner Trucking. And... They claim that they fired this young driver because she broke the glad hands. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So I am going to be um, suing Warner. I have to find... Well, yeah, I'm going to be suing Warner. And let me tell y'all why. So they fired me today, May 26th over a broken glad hand that broke on their trailer they're trying to claim that i hit something which i did not and then also they are trying to say that um that their guard shack told me to make an Ill illegal u-turn to come back through the fence to get my badge right and the sign clearly said no u-turn so i sat in west memphis for two days where i was close to my car and close to home before i went back on um back from vacation right so if they were gonna fire me they could have done it then and then sent me home right but they chose not to they wait until they brought me all the way down to laredo to tell me to pack up my stuff here comes the van here comes the van right that's gonna help me pack up my stuff and put it on um the van so i can place it in storage so i until i'm able to come back within 30 days and get it so now i'm sitting here and i have my dog right and they're like oh well we'll get you a greyhound ticket but we're not able to confirm whether or not um greyhound will allow you to take your pet and then they refused to get me a rental car and help me get home so i have to pack up all my stuff put it on the van i'm down here near laredo which is down here in new mexico for y'all who don't know they've caused me to be down here stranded and are refusing to help me i'm not i don't mind leaving my things but i'm not leaving here without my dog so the guy just come over here So all of this is screaming lawsuit. Um, they're refusing to help me get home other than giving me a bus ticket. And it's like, I'm out here with no money. And, um, and they were like, because I've been off from vacation and stuff. And they were like, you have to come out of your pocket to get a rental car if you want to rent a car. Or you can get on the bus, but we don't know if you can take your dog. So that is all. I'll keep y'all updated with what's happening next. Okay, y'all. Uh, so here's the update on my Warner situation. Right now, I'm in Dallas, Texas. Um, I did go ahead and get the bus ticket to go home. And I left Nala in a pet hotel. So I come back today. And I was like, you know, because... It's a six hour drive, I think, to downtown, I mean, down to Laredo. And so I called Warner to try to make arrangements to get my stuff. And they were like, you can't pick it up today. The van leader is not there and stuff. Now, y'all could have told me that y'all wasn't going to be open on the weekends, but y'all didn't. Because I don't know, if you work for Warner, normally they have other terminals, and there are people who run the vans on Sunday. So I don't know why this terminal just happened to be different. So I got to spend the night, well, I'm going to spend the night in Austin, and then go get my dog tomorrow, which is Monday, on Memorial Day, I got to go get my dog and my stuff because I called Driver Experience and they said they would be open.
So just a recap of how inconvenient this has been for me. I had to pay for gas to get back down here in my car or whatever. The bus like ride they put me on was Greyhound. It was horrible. I had to pay gas to get back down to Laredo. I had to pay gas I mean money to put my dog in a hotel in a pet hotel. Now I gotta spend money on a hotel because I got to wait till tomorrow to get my stuff when I was just trying to do a turnaround trip. So that's it as far as the update. Um, I have been applying for jobs other way, I mean elsewhere, so I'm really finna just like, I'm not even mad that they fired me because from day one, I had like text messages sending my sister telling her like I wanted to quit and my friends because it's just been like a horrible experience from day one. This is my experience. They were just like incompetent. Everybody wasn't on the same page. The truck they gave me, y'all saw how I made videos today. It broke down. The pay that they agreed to pay me was not what they said they were gonna pay me. And then y'all fired me in the middle of nowhere. So it's just, I always believe that God has something better in store. So this is just me getting ready to take the next step. And that's all for now. I don't know, driver. Don't take this as a, as a shot to you, but I honestly think there's more to this story that you're leading on. Uh, you're a new driver driving for Warner. Unfortunately, you was let go for what you said was a broken glad hand. Now, I don't understand the gist of broken glad hand maybe a hard turn maybe you maybe you dropped the trailer and forgot to disconnect the glad hands which a lot of new drivers do you know you you be moving a little just a touch too fast believe me i i move fast all the time and if i move too fast i tend to forget you know maybe some important things like removing the glad hands so when you read when you forget to not remove the glad hands and you move the truck, you pull it and then it snaps. But that's simple. That's, you know, that happens all the time. You know, new drivers, it happened to new drivers all the time. So why would a training company such as Warner let you go for a broken glad hand? I don't know. And then you also mentioned the fact that the company you know guard shack or company or whoever to make an illegal u-turn hmm that's kind of suspect right there and i i'll tell you why there was this young lady that made a video of us express letting her go because she's made a a u-turn like U-turns in a semi is, with some companies, it's against code. It's against policy. Now, if you can make a legal U-turn, i.e., you know, the cops, you know, help you make a legal U-turn, or if there's a, a turn that has, you know, that says it's legal to make that U-turn, that's when you make it. But let's say if you in a whole four lane of highway and you realize you're going the wrong way and you thought to yourself maybe i could pull over to the side and just turn around in the middle of the street that's illegal in a semi maybe a car can get away with it but you know you probably can get away with it but of course your truck is being tracked trust me the company knows what you're doing in their trucks. So if they see that you made a U-turn, of course you're gonna be routed back to the terminal and you're gonna get reprimanded. Now, some companies, you know, they'll just write you up or whatever, whatever, but mega carriers such as, you know, US Express, Warner and the rest of them, you might as well pack your bags. It's time to go. Sorry. But for new drivers, I hear you guys always like to say, well, 
I'm going to sue Warner for wrongful termination. Good luck with that one. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Also, word of advice. Instead of coming on TikTok saying what you're going to do, just don't come on TikTok and do what you're going to do. If you're going to sue, sue. Don't just come on TikTok and say, well, you know, I think I'm going to sue Warner. Yeah, yeah, I am going to sue Warner. <laughs> just go find a lawyer and do what you're going to do. You don't need to let the whole world know what you're going to do. Unless you're coming on here asking for, uh, you know, asking for uh, suggestions on what lawyers to call. But if you're just going to come on here and say, yeah, I'm going to sue an at-will company. Good luck with that. Because that's what Warner is. An at-will company. Meaning that they can let you go for whatever reason they deemed. They don't like you no more, they can let you go. Made an illegal U-turn, they can let you go. You broke the glad hand, they can let you go. You stayed on your break for more than 30 minutes, they can let you go. So, new drivers, I keep stressing this and I keep telling you guys this but y'all don't listen i don't understand why y'all don't want to listen to uncle lockout man i'm telling you when you decide to get in this industry after you get your license or if you get accepted with a trucking company that'll help you get your license do not come to these companies broke do not come to these companies with no money. Always, always, always have an emergency fund. I keep telling you guys, try to have at least a maximum of $500 and a minimum of three. That would, that would be there for you for any situation. When you come to the companies, don't bring the kitchen sink. Don't bring your dog. Don't bring your cat. Don't bring no animals. Just bring the essentials. Go bag, backpack, and hygiene bag. That's it. You're a new driver. You still trying to get a feel for the company. Either the company don't like you and they'll let you go, or you don't like that company and you decide to leave. You don't want to get stuck nowhere. Companies don't have no problem leaving your ass on the side of the road. Trust me, they don't. Maybe some mega carriers would get you back to the yard. Maybe they'll put $50 on, a, on, a, uh, on your comm data card. But that's about it. Once they letting you go, they don't care. They don't care how you get home, when you get home, or what you or what you leaving with once the contract is broke between you and that company that company don't you have nothing else to do with you now you're stuck now you got a whole bunch of stuff in your truck now that you got your animal your cat your bird or whatever and you have no way into getting home always have a credit card you can get a credit card this is 2023 you can get a credit card with bad credit now your credit could be zero and you could still get a credit card sign up for one they give you credit cards with three to five hundred dollar credit limits on you and that's all you really need that's all you really need just enough to go into that rental car place and that they have that they have the money on the credit card to hold while you renting the car to get back home see i i keep telling you guys this for years and years man but y'all don't listen to uncle lockout uh, 
Uncle Lockout don't know what he's talking about. But I'm telling you, you got situations like this and drivers like this that comes on TikTok now because they don't do it on YouTube like they used to. But they come on TikTok now and talk about, well, I just got fired. Well, I'm going to try and sue. Well, I got stranded. Well, the trainer, the trainer put me out in 10 buck too. And then you come on TikTok wondering, well, what happened? I ain't got no money. I got to, I, 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 I don't know what to do. So hopefully you're able to get home. Um, hopefully you're able to get your animals back home. Hopefully you you guys will learn from y'all mistakes. And again, if you're going to sue, don't just come on here saying that you're going to sue. Just do it. Oh!